I can tell you it is possible to go from engineering to consulting. How can engineers get into consulting? And that's one of those questions that I really didn't see posted somewhere online. There are a few blogs on it, but who likes to read? People rather just watch a video. So I felt like maybe this would do and make a video for you guys. But I might start making videos in this manner. Meanwhile, I'm getting my steps in. You're probably wondering why are my headphones stuck to my head like that? That's because that's probably the only real spot that I could put them. It's easier to just slip them back on my ear. I'm normally listening to some sort of a audio book or something. I'm about a mile into my walk. I'm not gonna be running today. It's actually a little chilly out right now. Uh, it's about 45 degrees, maybe 12 mile per hour wind chill factor. But the good thing is in about an hour, it's gonna be about 55 degrees. Let's get started. Today's topic, is gonna be about how can engineers get into consulting? You could be a network engineer, you could be a software engineer, you could be a mechanical engineer, or any other sort of engineer. This video applies to all of you guys. Welcome back guys. So let's talk about it. So it's very common for engineers to be interested in consulting. It's professionally demanding, well compensated job, and opens many doors in businesses and beyond. Now, what is the gap? Let's address that and we'll try to provide a solution to that. So as an engineer, whether that's electrical engineering, computer science, civil engineering, software engineering, network engineering, um, or any quantitative analytical fields, you may have the following concerns. You don't have enough business experience on your resume. You don't understand consulting industry. Recruiters won't give you a fair shot since they assume you have no people skills, preferring numbers and analytics. You're not prepared to tackle consulting interviews or even case studies. You never addressed one before. You don't know how to provide solutions to complex problems on an enterprise level. For example, what happens if the interviewer asks you, what does a company need to do to raise profits? And now you're thinking, how do you even go about answering that? To answer this question, you need analytical mindset, clarity of thought, clear communication, consistency, and attitude to be able to deliver under high pressure. So in this video, I'll try to address the above concerns and discuss the strengths you should market and develop and share some tips. That will serve you well during the management consulting recruiting process. I can tell you it is possible to go from engineering to consulting. So what are some of the questions? What options are available as an engineer? You can try to get into global management consulting firms. Increasingly quantitative, analytical, and some of them like McKinsey, uh, Bain, PwC, BCG, Deloitte, they have a high reputation of hiring engineers, particularly in regions that serve high-tech clients. Boutique consulting firms, especially those with technology-focused industry specializations. People who build semiconductors and, and telecom industries and all of that. Then you have technology consulting firms such as Accenture, IBM. They heavily support and solution to clients. So what are your strengths as an engineer? Quantitative analytical skills. These skills are helpful with modeling, financial operations, statistical analysis, and just basic analytical reasoning. Success in a tough undergraduate major is another one. Generally speaking, engineering majors are tougher to complete. There's more work involved. The academic content is more complex. Having a GPA in engineering major shows recruiters that you work hard to accomplish your goals. So how do you mitigate perceived weaknesses as an engineer? Not that engineering is a weak field to be in. Like I mentioned, the studies are rigorous and tough. So for consulting, that could be a major challenge. How do you mitigate perceived weaknesses as an engineer? So what you need to do is get some business experience under your belt. If you're still in college, find business-related summer internships, part-time jobs during school year, provided that you can manage the workload. If you're not, tailor your resume to focus on skills and experiences that consultants look for, such as people leadership, 
quantitative impact and entrepreneurial 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 initiatives. How do you address the recruiting biases against engineers? You can counter this by focusing on the following presentation skills. Practice interviews as much as you can. Practice makes you perfect. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Have a strong story about why you want to enter the industry. Show a clear understanding of business news and current events. Highlight your people skills and teamwork leadership experiences in your resume and interviews. In how do you address insufficient recruiting preparation? Like the second point I mentioned, it's dependent on the time and effort you invest. Let me know in comments if you guys are looking for an opportunity to get into consulting and what have you been doing to progress towards it. I would be interested to know. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.